I'm not sure how far Riverwood is, but... This bridge sure intrigues me. What's down here? Ah, someone with a campfire. But there looks like a small settlement over there as well. I wonder. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this place across the river? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. You have? Would you be interested in buying anything? Take a look. I have all of this raw wolf meat. Would you be interested? Well, maybe just a little at least. I'm gonna go across the river, if you don't mind. I wanna check out what this place is. Do you know anything about it? Mm, no? Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay then, have fun. I kinda envy you and your campfire on such a beautiful, beautiful night. Colors are amazing, aren't they? I wonder what's over here, though. I tell you, Helgen sure wasn't what I was hoping it would be. I swear that was a dragon I saw flying off when I reached the gates. Hell, I don't care what it was. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you looking at? Um, gosh, I guess nothing. I'm just gonna, uh, keep moving. Um, never mind. What is this place? Wow. It sure needs some work, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder what this place was, or is. It doesn't seem to be anyone around. What are these crystals? It's like they're lanterns, but filled with Soul gems. Oh, that's peculiar. And these ropes that go from... Well, from this mill to here. It's like they're... Well, they're not really ropes. They're made out of metal, it looks. How bizarre. All of them have these, these cables. How weird. Going from post to post and they all have these strange soul gems, but... Huh. Well, they're all going into this building. I wonder. If there's something inside that... Well, no, there's really nothing inside. Look! What a curious place. Ah, a lantern. Well, that seems to help. I wonder where this boat goes. Well, I mean, I guess it goes anywhere I want it to.
I guess if I... If I explore more of Ilan Alta, if there's places to go, I could probably take this there. It would be a lot faster than having to go around. Although, I could probably just swim there. But, I don't know if there's any slaughterfish or any of that other dangerous creatures. I wonder what's out there. It looks like there's something below the surface. I'll have to look. But not tonight. This is really interesting. Oh look, there's a river under these steps. It goes into, well, it goes into the lake. Must be some sort of natural spring. And look, there's a mill up here. Doesn't seem to be active at the moment. Here's another one of those strange gems. It looks like maybe it's powered somehow by the mill. That's weird. And it goes to this one as well. Hmm. What a unique place. Oh dear. Well, this place sure is a mess. Looks like there's a note over here, but it's hard to read at night. Oh, look. That's convenient. But still not enough light to read that note. Not at the table, at least. I wonder what this place is. I was looking for a place to call my own. I wonder if I could call this place mine. Hmm, I wonder what the, all of this is. It looks like, oh, a safe. Ah, empty. I should have known. But it looks like some kind of office. And another one of those unusual gems. Interesting. Here's this mill. What do you suppose is up here? Well, it sure is a nice view. Oh, I can see that there's definitely something under the water. Look at that. Wow. Imagine that. Oh. Oh. Why? It's getting late. Another note. Well, I'll have to catch up on all of this. Oof. Tomorrow. Oh, well, that's convenient. Oh, that's better. That's very nice. But, again, it's much too late. Oh, I wonder if this operates the windmill. Ah, it looks like it does. Oh, look at that. That wasn't like that before. I bet this powers that gem. Well, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Wow. You don't see that every day. That's a pretty amazing. <sighs> I need to find a place to stay. It's much too late. Hold on. Did you hear that? I think there's something under this rug. Huh. Well, that could be useful for later. I think I'll take that. I'm just gonna roll this rug up and... 
Well, would you look at that? A little hidden door. It's a little hidden door. Well, not hidden real well, but I guess all things considered. There's that man. What do you suppose he's doing? Do you think he comes here to skinny dip very often? I bet he's got a thing for that huntress. I don't think that's going to work, sir. She seems a little more... Well, I just don't think she'd be impressed with that. Anyway, good luck. I wonder what's down here. I'd better be careful. Well, that's curious. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? There's another one of those gems. How interesting. Whoa. Oh, well, I know what that smell was now. I wonder what happened to him. Well, doesn't look like there's any danger now. Ooh, you look a little charred, sir. What in the world happened to you? Hmm. Well, you've got some septums. I guess you don't need those anymore. <laughs> or the steel dagger. Oh, look, there's a journal. Oh, I'm so tired, though. Well, there's a bed down here, but I certainly don't want to sleep down here with a dead body. I, I wonder if I can just take him outside and bury the poor soul. That's better. Rest in peace, whoever you were. Oh, the sun is coming up already and I have not slept a wink. I gotta try to get some sleep and, well, this seems like a safe place to do that. <sighs> oh, well, it wasn't as much sleep as I had hoped, but it's better than nothing. Now, what do you suppose is up with this journal? <clears throat> Let's see. 15th of mid-year. I've just inherited this broken down mill of my grandfather's and I have neither the carpenter's skill or the will to restore it. I specialize in the creation of genius inventions not woodwork. One thing that has piqued my interest, however, are those large water wheels. With a little work and a Dwemer-inspired mechanism, I may be able to harness the power of water wheels for my next invention. Really, that sounds fascinating. I wonder if he explains what he did. Let's see. Um... That reminds me, I should really get around to signing the deed and making all of this official. Otherwise, I'll be working on land I don't yet technically own, and it will be claimed by the hold. Oh dear, that would be a shame. 24th of mid-year. Some splicing here and there, along with a little help from a couple of local carpenters to get everything attached to the water wheels, I've been able to get my little contraption up and running. Well, good for you. 
Um, of course. I was careful not to let them see my plans for this genius power source of mine. I'm not going to have some cheap carpenter make fortune on the back of my years of research and inventions. Well, I can certainly appreciate that. I mean, that would really be a, well, that would be too bad. Twelfth of Sun's Height Well, I've managed to get the lighting to the majority of the mill, although I did need to split the workload between the wheel attached to the house and the one also running the log cutter. With the use of soul gems, water wheels, and some Dwemer research, it's starting to come together rather nicely. My genius knows no bounds. My, he seemed to be a little bit, well, full of himself, didn't he? Uh, 15th of Sun's Height. There's a strange clanging noise coming from one of the cogs, which makes me think something may be stuck inside. I should be able to pull out whatever is stuck in there while the cogs are turning in order to locate the exact part causing the problem. Oh dear. I do believe I know what happened to the poor man who used to live here. Oh, and look at that. That looks to be the, the item he probably pulled from the mechanism. Hmm. Well, note to self, don't stick your hand in that. Otherwise, you'll end up on the floor probably right about here. How interesting. What's this? Mill water retreat deed. Hmm. As recognized by the hold of Falkreath and its governing body, this deed hereby declares that mill water retreat and its surrounding land is the explicit property of the following citizen. This is the deed that he never got around to signing. Interesting. I wonder. I bet if I put my name on the deed, I would own this land. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Easy as that. Well, it looks like I just inherited your poor grandfather's property. Well, maybe your grandfather wasn't poor, but you certainly are. Not that you care anymore. Oh dear, that looks awfully stale. I don't think I'll have that. Oh. Oh, that's better. Now, let's take a closer look at this. How fascinating. Here's another one of those gems. I don't know much about Dwemer stuff, but this sure is neat. Oh, I wonder. Well, it's not putting my hand in the wheels, that's for sure. So, well, let's give it a try. Oh, look at that. Wow. You don't see that every day. Huh. I wonder what's happened outside. Let's go look. Well, there's that man again. Well, at least he's wearing trousers. That's better. That huntress across the way must not have been impressed. Or, well, maybe she was. Well, it's not my business. Let's put this rug back if we can. Oh, I don't think we can. 
There we go. There. Now it's hidden, just like it was before. Wow, look at this. This is pretty amazing. A workbench, some hinges, and a lock. Gosh, I could do a lot with this place, but... Oh, there's so much to do. What's this? I remember little of what my grandfather taught me about carpentry when I was a child. It should be easy enough to fix up some of the mill, but I'm going to need assistance if I'm going to completely restore this place and turn a profit. I can use the business ledger in the office to keep track of progress, organize tasks, and arrange for the hiring of local carpenters. Should I need supplies, I can always try the mill down in Riverwood, so long as I don't mention what I need it for, considering they will be my biggest competitor for trade. <laughs> That's the truth. Look at all the butterflies. What a beautiful place. Ah, look at that. I think it's glowing. No. Maybe it's just the sun catching it. This is an amazing discovery. I was definitely looking for a place to call my own. I would have never expected this. Hmm. Oh, that's... That's that poor man's grave. I bet I can put this somewhere. I know where I can put this. I can put it on the end of the house. I think I'll do that now. Look at that, fits perfect. Oh, oops. <laughs> it looks like I got a little too uh, distracted in looking at the shield. Well, nonetheless, it looks fantastic. I should probably, I should probably explore more of this area. Never mind me, sir. I'm just looking at. <clears throat> the land that I own. <laughs> oh dear. There's a rabbit. Doesn't look like it's been dead for very long. That means there might be wolves about. I'll have to be careful. What's down here? Oh yes, the boat. And that's where that office area was. Now, it said something about a ledger. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's read about the laborers. I've managed to track down two candidates to work at my mill. Boric in Falkreath seems to be a great fit for my lumberjack. He's young, eager, and great with an axe. Zuzai in Argonian has recently moved to Falkreath looking for a new home after his family was killed crossing the border. Oh dear. He's a fine, hard-working fisherman who will mostly keep to himself. Well, I can understand that. It'd be nice to have another Argonian around. Uh, I'll need to get that old bunkhouse rebuilt first so they have somewhere to rest. That's a good idea. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like he got around to it. Yes, there was nothing in the safe. Use the business ledger to hire carpenters to craft items for you. Hire guards to protect your new land and check on your profits made from the mill. Laborers can be recruited using gold placed in the safe, earning you additional gold over time. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Joe and I am the Panicked Monk and you are watching the mini adventures of Durkara. This of course is Durkara. He is an Argonian as you can see. And well, we haven't quite figured out what Durkara is gifted in. We don't know if he is a warrior, a thief, an assassin. Right now, I think it is best to classify Drakkar as an adventurer, a wanderer. And what Drakkar is really looking for is just peace and quiet and a place to call his own. Fortunately, he has found such a place. And that place is Millwater Retreat. This is a marvelous little mod by DarkFox127, and in this little mini-series, we will be highlighting Millwater Retreat by DarkFox, and how Dakara manages to make this place his own. Uh, there is plenty to do here. As you can see, uh, Millwater Retreat requires a lot of work to fix it up. It starts out pretty dilapidated, but through the ability to hire carpenters to help you fix things up, as well as your own skills, you can create a nice little haven here on Lake Illinalta. And that is just what Dakara is planning to do. So, Come with me, come with Dakara, and let's make Millwater Retreat a place to call home. But first, we need to fix it up. What a beautiful location. I can't wait to get this place fixed up and make it my own. I think there was a note down here by the bunkhouse. Or what used to be the bunkhouse, I guess. Ah, here it is. This old building is a total mess. It looks like a giant fell through it. <laughs> That's for sure. This is most certainly going to take days of work and skills that I just don't have. Well, yeah, you and me both. Not to mention more than one person working on it. That's for sure. I should recruit some carpenters to fix this up once the rest of the mill is cleared up and constructed. Well, I think I might make this a priority before the rest of the place is fixed up. Let's see. Oh, a chopping block. Well, that's useful. What else is down here? Oh, some more nails and a hammer. Oh, another note. Once I get this place up and running, I'm hoping it will start to attract some traders. I'm guessing that's what my grandfather built the docks for. I could easily see a few small ships making a stop here, 
should I have some lumber to offer? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, now I definitely see why we wouldn't want to tell the people in Riverwood what we're up to. The bridge over by the Standing Stones is the perfect route in for traveling merchants to make their way through. You never know what kind of interesting trinkets they may have to trade. Well, if I can get this place fixed up, I certainly would welcome some traders. Ah, some clay bricks. Broom, that's always good to have to clean things up. A chopping block. My, look at all of the things here. We're gonna light that just, just in case it gets dark. Ooh. Looks like a little bit of leakage going on from these barrels. I'll have to try to clean that up. Or at least not slip. <laughs> ah, here's where the boat must dock. Well, that's pretty neat. And another boat. Well, this was quite a nice find. Looks like I can light all of these. I'm going to do that in ahead of time. I can replace the candles as I need to. Well, I don't think I have enough septums to hire any workers, but I do have some things I can trade down at Riverwood. I bet I could get enough where I could hire some carpenters to help me out. Oh, look. I wonder. Let's take a look at the roof. Well, it seems to be in good condition. Well, that's good. What a beautiful view. Yes, I could definitely see myself living here. But boy, there sure is a lot of work to do. I need to get to Riverwood so that I can make some coin and hire some people to help me build this place back up. I hope the deed that I signed my name to is enough. I'd hate to anger the Jarl of Falkreath. Although, I bet he's got enough problems that, well, he wouldn't be worried about this place. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me on our initial episode one of the mini adventures of Durkara. I am uh, so looking forward to exploring this mod by Dark Fox and the Nexus download page is in the show notes and please if you enjoy your time here with this mod don't forget to endorse and let Dark Fox know how much you appreciate his efforts. Until next time, safe travels. Mm -hmm.